What's up guys, Houndish here, and today it's time for the weekly reset in Destiny 2, and of course it's Tuesday, January 16th, 2024, so as always we're going to jump in and check out the main rewards and vendor inventories for the week, as well as some core updates to look out for this reset, as we should be seeing the first Bungie updates of 2024 via the Twit this week, so that should be interesting. But in game we get new quest steps and unlocks for week 8 of the season, that includes the final catalyst refit for the Wishkeeper exotic bow, as well as an extra secret item, so that's cool. Plus we've got the Eververse refresh and hopefully that'll have some bright dust items for Season of the Wish. Plus we'll cover vendors such as Banshee and Ada 1, as well as key rewards, unlocks and updates for the week, farmable exotics, featured lost sectors, and all of the core activities worth looking out for. So as always, I hope you guys find this one useful and if you do, be sure to get subscribed for more D2 content. But without further delay, let's get into it. And the first thing worth mentioning this week is that we should see the final exotic quest for the upgrades for the Wishkeeper exotic bow, so this time around we'll unlock the Hatchling refit, and that in itself will be interesting to try on the weapon, but additionally, we'll see the finale for the Starcrossed mission itself. There's actually a hidden emblem in the database called Well Tended Garden, and it's associated with Starcrossed, so presumably, with this being the final week, we'll be able to unlock that, but as always, I'll keep you guys posted. Otherwise, core seasonal quest steps for the story have wrapped up as far as we know, so unless we get an additional finale or something later on in the season, weekly quest steps are no longer going to be a thing for a little while. And first up today, as we get into the game right here, we can see there is bonus infamy for the take-in, so if you want to level up with the Drifter, it's a good week to dive into Gambit. Otherwise though, we do get new seasonal challenges for week 8, things like completing the Starcrossed mission, there's a bunch that we covered in the reset video right here. And otherwise, we get into the Eververse store for the week right here. As always, we'll focus on bright dust items. We do have the ornament for the Wishkeeper right here, uh, which is up for silver. But for bright dust stuff, here on the front page, we've got the Dawn of Invention exotic emote, and that one's 3,250 bright dust. We'll take a quick preview of it right there. On top of that, though, uh, we also get the corporate sponsorship uh, ornament right here for the sweet business, which is 1,250 bright dust. So if you fancy picking that one up, it is a pretty cool one. But then we have the Pyramid Entrance Transman Effect for 450 Bright Dust on the front page right here, so we'll take another quick look at that. And additionally, we've got the Luminous Void Shader available for Bright Dust this week. This was a silver purchase uh, a couple of seasons back, so uh, now available for Bright Dust once again. I think it has been in the store for Dust previously. But on top of that, we've got the Aposmatism Shader. Once again, this is 300 Bright Dust from back in Season of the Splicer. But for the second page of Bright Dust items, initially we've got the Simon Says exotic emote, which is 3,250 Bright Dust, as always, right there. A pretty cool one. On top of that, though, we've got the Times Ticking, which is a rare emote available in the store this week, and this one is 400 Bright Dust. And then there is the Convertible Shell, uh, Ghost Shell right here, which is 2,850 Bright Dust this week, a rather curious looking thing. There's also the Shining Cabriolet uh, exotic ship here, which is 2,000 Bright Dust, so that one sort of fits in uh, with the Ghost Shell as well. And then moving on, we've got the Omen of Saturn, uh, which is an exotic Sparrow. This one is 2,500 Bright Dust. And of course, now that Sparrows have all been updated to top speed, uh, some of these may be a bit more appealing for some folks. Then for the Trespasser this week, we've got the Shiro's Watch uh, ornament right here, which is 1,250 Bright Dust, so a pretty cool Shiro 4 themed ornament. Uh, right there in the store. On top of that though, there is the Lost Projection. As always, these are 1500 Bright Dust. I'm not sure why those things are so expensive, but for the second page of Featured Shaders here, we've got the Metropolitan Acoustics. Once again, all of these will be 300 Bright Dust. On top of that, there is the Vibrant Medusa, which is one that shows up in the store quite often. And then we've got the Coppertone Patina uh, available right here, which is kind of a cool one. On top of that though, there is the Boreal Char, uh, from back in Splicer once again, so let us know if you'll pick any of those up. But then we've got the Tiger Effects Transman Effect. As always, these are 450 Bright Dust. Additionally, there is the Swirling Leaf Entrance, quite autumnal, I suppose. And then we've got the Phosphine Stimulus available here in the store this week, which is uh, a new one for this season. So uh, let us know what you think of the Eververse store, a couple of decent ornaments and things like that. So let us know in the comment section what you plan to pick up. But heading over to Banshee for the moment, we've got the Lunar Latter 4B with Ensemble and Headstone for grabs in the store. There's also the Iota Draconis Fusion Rifle, which has got Feeding Frenzy and Adagio. Then the True Prophecy Hand Cannon, which is Grave Robber and Rampage, as well as the Legal Action Pulse Rifle with Surplus and Osmosis. But finally, the Palmera B, which has got Surplus and Lasting Impression. So let us know if you'll grab anything here, but keep in mind these weapons will change throughout the course of the week. 
But finally, here at Ada One, she's got the Tangled web set of gear this week, so if this is something older from uh, collections that you want to pick up, of course you can give Ada a visit. But for the shaders, we've got the Vitrified Duality. These are always 10,000 Glimmer, so a quick look at that one right there, kind of a nice one. And then we've got the New Pacific Rush, one of the old Titan Destination shaders, which very often comes up. And Dead Orbit's Fate, which is an older faction shader, which Ada has very often as well, but maybe some useful ones to pick up if you haven't already got them. Up next though, moving on to other activity stuff for the week, and the Nightfall weapon this time around will be the loaded Question Fusion Rifle. Of course we have Grandmaster Nightfalls available as well, and the featured strike this week will be the birthplace of the Vile, so that should be a fun one to dive into again. But moving over to the Exotic Mission Rotator, we'll see Presage featured this week, where we can pick up the Dead Man's Tail, as well as weapons from Season of the Haunted, so if you fancy trying to grab any of those, it's a good activity to jump into. But additionally, for the featured Raid and Dungeon, firstly, we'll get the Last Wish Raid in the Dreaming city where we can farm for the 1000 voices so that's a good one to go after if you haven't picked it up but on top of that we've got the duality dungeon featured on the moon and equally in that activity we can farm for the heart shadow exotic sword so that's another good one to dive into this reset but very finally we have the featured lost sectors and so for january 16th it'll be concealed void on europa dropping exotic helmets and then we move over to neomuna for january 17th with the thriller drone dropping exotic legs which is followed by gilded precept on january 18th dropping gauntlets but for the 19th, we'll see Scavenger's Den on the EDZ dropping chess pieces, and then we'll get Skydark on January 20th dropping exotic helmets, that's followed by the quarry on January 21st dropping exotic legs, and finally for the 22nd of January, it'll be Aphelion's Rest in the Dreaming City, which will be dropping exotic gauntlets. So those are the core rewards and things to look out for this week in Destiny 2 guys, but otherwise, we'll see the return of Twid on Thursday, so I'll keep you posted with the news as we get it, so definitely stay locked in on the channel, get subscribed and turn on notifications if you want to stay up to date. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in as always. Let us know if you're diving into the game this week in the comments section as well. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching today and whatever you get up to, I will catch you all very soon.